Drestia and Ogmios. Yesterday I did part one of a live stream installing the Daedalus Flight Wallet. But there's two very, very important things that I need to put out about the, uh, about the Flight Wallet and the video that I did yesterday. Give me a moment to get these links dropped. I want to drop them. But, um, let's see here. So, uh, the things about Daedalus Flight that I need to put out are, the first one is it uses real ADA. Please make sure when you do install Daedalus Flight, keep in mind that is real ADA. So if you send the ADA from point A to point B, it will go. And uh, the other thing is Daedalus Flight, uh, they took the link down momentarily to fix some back-end problems, or not back-end problems, but anyway, there's some enhancements. There's already been a few things identified that need some enhancements and improvement done. And, you know, everybody likes a good back-end. So, you know, they're going to uh, do some improvements on the back-end and re-release the Daedalus Flight again sometime later this week. So I will do part two and part three once the new one comes out. I still have the original Daedalus Flight, and I could use that one, but I figured... It's better to wait until you all can install it, and that way when I do the video, you can follow along and also provide feedback to IOHK on Daedalus Flight uh, on that next release. All right, I see, hey, there's quite a few people in there. Hopefully my link connected correctly this time. I sometimes run into problems with that, uh, with Zoom connecting to the link that I put up earlier. And let me see if I drop this link here. Okay, so next we'll go into Adrestia and Ogmio. So I'm not going to go into the fine level detail, but I will drop the links down below in the description, and I'll put them in the chat now if you want to pull these up. Let me see if I can put them in chat. So the first one here will be for Adrestia, and hopefully it sticks to the chat window. Hey, there it goes. And the second one will be for Ogmios. Epic names, Ogmios, you put that in there. Hello everyone, glad to see everybody here. Ice Dean, Ada North Pole's there. Old Pa Sink, hello, oh my gosh, hey everyone. Roadrunner, all good, thank you. Tardano MMA, Ross, hello everyone. All right, so uh, I'll get into this, Aaron. Hey, what's up Aaron? C. Arnold, good morning. Okay, so I'm going to get into Adrestia and Ogmios. I dropped some links over there in the chat if you want to open those up and check them out. I'm going to go on to a screen share here. Did I get everything right? It looks like I did. Yay. All right. The only way to get good at doing something... The only way to get good at doing something is by doing it. You never get good about doing something by thinking about it. you got to do it. So let me, let me do my screen share here and get the right desktop. Okay, it might go to infinity for a moment. Oops, let me, let me not do that just yet. Let me not share it. Move this thing over first. Otherwise, I'll get confused. All right. Okay. And pop the chat out. How do I pop the chat out? There we go. Pop out chat. Yay. There we go. I can share that screen. All right, so got my screen up there, um, and I can see the chat. Yay, not too bad. Okay, so here I have addressed the up at GitHub. This is over at KTOR's GitHub. KTOR's is a Haskell developer at IOHK. Uh, he has this little duck symbol here, and I saw his uh, on his Twitter this morning that he put out new information on, on Ogmios, and I had previously read about Adrestia. Charles had brought it up in one of his his AMAs, and I thought, okay, cool, it's time to get in there. So I looked up Adrestia and Ogmios, and, and uh, I also have a, a little tea filter duck, so I'm going to name him Ogmios after Ktors. Actually, I'll name him Ktors. There you go. That's a little duck name. I like that. There you go. The god of Haskell, all right? So anyway... Adrestia. So Adrestia is a product team. I'm going to just go through the description here. Uh, I, I, it's better if I just read it from GitHub because if I try to describe it in my own words, I'll probably screw it up. So Adrestia is a product team working on developing tooling and client interfaces around Cardano. Our mission is to create an easier bridge between end users, applications, and Cardano core node by pushing out higher level interfaces to interact with the Cardano blockchain. Okay. And here is a functional block diagram. 
And for me, being not a developer, let me zoom in a little bit and make that a little bigger. Okay, me being not a developer, uh, what does it mean to me? Well, it helps me get my tacos on Cardano, right? That's what I'm interested in. And so Drestia covers in this aspect, let's say we start over here on the left, all these different Cardano nodes is a decentralized Cardano network like the ITN. Then you connect the Cardano network via this node client interface through the Adrestia set of tools that include a Cardano wallet interface that allows, the as part of the Adrestia kit, to exchange with uh, the Daedalus, Exchanges, Atala, Prism, Dashboards. Then you have another interface with GraphQL that allows it to connect with Cardano operator, uh, the pool operator tools. And then it goes on to Cardano REST uh, interface, which is Explorer and exchanges and other stuff like that. So Adrestia is this set of tools to allow the connections. And as, here's the APIs listed here. So if you're a developer and you can take a look in here and see how, see, see what tools are available in the APIs in the libraries. And the I, APIs has a status board. The Byron, the Byron set of uh, tools, Byron software has all check marks good to go. Jormungandr only has one check mark and it's obvi appears to, it won't be implemented on Jormungandr as that part of the test net is in the late stages and it will shift over to the Haskell proper version of it. And oh, good. Um, Daniel Tukunduva, uh, developer here. The right column is yummy. Okay. Excellent. We have a developer here. Daniel, thanks for being here. If there's anything you can add in the chat, please let me know. And if you can ever come on Digital Fortress, I'll get you the link to Zoom here and you can pop in and tell us more about how this works. Okay. Now over here under Shell, you have this under construction symbol. I think that's what it means. Um, I'm not a GitHub expert. GitHub, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like Facebook for developers. And I'm kind of like a, an intruder trying to figure out what's going on with you know, stuff. And this is a great place to look it up. So the Cardano wallet will be implemented in Shelly under construction, GraphQL under construction. The REST has an X here. I don't think the REST API is going to be used in the same way, but you might see it come into play on some of the other tools. I'm going to go over here with um, Augmios or Drestia, wherever it comes into play. Then you have all these different li libraries under construction in Haskell with the BEC32 part is done on Haskell and the rest are under construction. Okay, so this is where you can get a look at it. This is just an intro video to get you familiar, and I wanted to drop you the links. They're over in the chat, and I'll put them down in the description. So if you are a developer, or you want to look further, or let's say a week or two from now, you want to check on the updates, this is the place to go. Okay, KTORS is a developer uh, for IOHK, and he's making this stuff along with the rest of the team. So it's a great place to get your updates, to know real time what's happening uh, you don't have to read the translated stuff. You can get the real world stuff right there, okay? So where does the name Adrestia come from? Because everybody knows Cardano has really cool names. And where where's it come from? Well, it's a Greek, from Greek mythology. Adrestia was a minor deity of revolt and equilibrium between good and evil. Isn't that interesting? And she was the daughter of Ares and Aphrodite, sister of Eros. And it goes on to the history. She was often depicted following her father in battles or next to Nemesis, goddess of divine retribution. Okay, so another epic name from Cardano in uh, Adrestia. That's pretty cool. I love the history and trivia behind things. Now we go into Ogmios. Very interesting and a new release. And I learned this from KTOR's Twitter just this morning. And then I read through this and thought, wow, this is cool. And so these are like battle gods, you know, that's what this is named for. Ogmios Overview. Let me zoom in. Sorry, apologize. I got to remember I'm. Uh, looking from the eyes of a viewer, it might be harder to read. So, uh, Ogmios is a translation service written in Haskell, running on top of Cardano Node, offers a JSON WSP interface through WebSockets and enables clients to speak to Ouroboros' many protocols via remote procedure calls over JSON. Now, I'm only familiar with those. I recently learned about remote procedure calls and JSON and all that kind of stuff from, uh, from working on the Cardano ITN. I learned it from all those folks over there, like old Paw Sink, who's, uh, who's in the chat. And, uh, and the devs that we interact with. So I'm getting a better understanding of how that works. But what you have over here is your Cardano relay node, which is what KTOR has tweeted about. You got a relay node connected through to the Cardano decentralized network. From that relay, you have the Augmius server that interfaces through the protocols and Seabor. I don't know what that means. It usually means like something like common broker object or something like that. 
Okay, so you have the Augmio server, and that provides the interface to interact with the rest of the Cardano network. I don't know how the details of how that works, but you can look it up on here and get more information on how it works, okay, with these mini protocols. But uh, Ktors does a great job of write, he does a great write up on describing stuff, and he says here Augmios brings the Orboros mini protocols to the web. This is the important part. Effectively allowing light clients to interact with the relay node in a very simple and efficient way. Ogmios is very lightweight too and can be deployed alongside relays to create entry points on the Cardano network for various types of applications, for example, wallets, explorers, chatbots, dashboards, etc., 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 taco apps, whatever, you know, you name it. So these are the building blocks that are going that connect Cardano to the world. And I normally don't do sensationalized titles on my YouTube channel. You guys seen my other titles. They're pretty freaking boring, okay? But I got really excited when I read this. I was aware of Adrestria. Then I read this. I was like, wow, it's really starting to come together. So I wanted to get that out on the street. Um, hey, Gene Pasker, I see you there in chat. How's it going, Gene? Good to see you here. And Roadrunner as well. Thanks for being here and thanks for enjoying the videos. And the links are over in the chat. If you can scroll up, you might not be able to see them. I'll put them in the description down below. And then um, Ktors put a link in here for building the Cart uh, Docker Compose um, thing over here. Developers will know what to do with it. And uh, he said, this will run and connect together. It will run and connect an OBFT Byron Cardano node connected to the mainnet. And it will connect an Augmio server listening on the local host port 1337. So those of you that know how that works, you can sort it out and get involved. And if you guys hadn't seen it recently, there was a lot of tweets from Adatainment over uh, Adatainment Twitter. Man, IOHK Cardano Foundation in Murgo has a lot of job openings out there. And in this current day and age of what we're dealing with in the current times with a lot of people are very unfortunately they're losing their jobs but the they're still hiring over at IOHK Mergo and Cardano Foundation and you can work from home so you might want to check out Ada Tayman's Twitter where where Tommy compiled a list of job openings and if they're not something that suit you maybe you can have friends and family who might be interested in those jobs where you can work remotely and that's pretty cool stuff I just wanted to throw that in and I just thought of that uh, Dockers yeah Hey, Riley O'Flo, and Riley is there. Hi, Riley. Good to have you here. And if anyone wants to explain a little further in the chat, feel free to do so. So, Ogmios, Ogmios, and where did that come from? Well, I went to the Ogmios dev. I clicked that link from KTOR's Twitter, and it took me to this WSS connection page. I have no idea what to do with it, but it looks cool. So, if you're a developer, go ahead and check that out. And I went to look up Ogmios because I like the history and the trivia. And who is Ogmios? Ogmios is a Celtic god of Gaul identified with the Roman Hercules. So Gaul is ancient French. So uh, they're a Celtic god. I've, I'm, I'm Celtic heritage myself. My family's from Erin, Scotland. Um, but the Celtic region goes from the western side of France, basically Brittany, France. And then you go north through Cornwall, England, Isle of Man, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. And that's like the ancient Celtic region. And this particular... Ogmios comes from uh, Brittany, France, and I think Ktors is of French heritage. And uh, so Ogmios was portrayed as an old man with swarthy skin, armed with a bone club, and he was also a god of eloquence. And in that aspect, he was represented as a drawing along a company of men whose ears were chained to his tongue. So Ogmios was a chained uh, warrior of sorts. Um, they chained him in restraint until he was needed in battle. So that's why I gave that title to the video. Okay. Oh, and I used Britannica. I used Encyclopedia Britannica. You know why? Because fuck Wikipedia. All right. Because Wikipedia has censored uh, Cardano community people who have been making entries uh, that are Cardano related. They've been deleting them. And some of them were legit. Okay, they did delete them for a good reason, but there's other ones that are perfectly good. Uh, Wikipedia entries. Wikipedia entries need to read kind of dry, kind of like a mattress label, um, as James Kelly described it to me. And uh, yeah, so I'm not using Wikipedia anymore. Screw them until they stop censoring. I like Wikipedia, but you know what? I can use Britannica. Wikipedia may be big, but the internet's bigger. There's always a bigger fish in the sea. Um, and then Ogmios, I looked it up over here. I looked it up on Fandom. That was pretty cool. 
Here's uh, Ogmios, if you want to look up the history. So another cool name by Cardano. Another awesome name there. Um, all right, any comments or questions in the chat, let me know. I see Ice Dean over at Ada North Pole, and his pool ticker is ANP. He says he's really not impressed with Wikipedia censorship of Cardano. Yeah, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. It's not the fall of all of Wikipedia, but the editors of the page. So it's not all of Wikipedia. It's not all of them. There are a few particular editors who are not blockchain friendly, so they tend to be jack wagons, so they can all suck my big white hairy toe knuckle. And uh, the, yeah, that's what I got to say for them. Oops, I don't need that tab. All right, so uh, yeah, Wikipedia, you better think about what you're doing because it, the Internet's a big place. We don't need you. We don't need you. We want you. We want our entries on Wikipedia, but if you keep censoring like that, then uh, you're going to have Britannica, the rest of the Internet, still out there. All right, so let me see. I got the key things. Um, the... Daedalus Flight. Wait a few days on that until the next release. I'll do part two and part three for the user interface and the controls and menus feedback for IOHK. And um, the main thing is logging into the Zendesk and getting your feedback documented well. And make sure you don't duplicate feedback. Uh, links for Adrestia and for Ogmios will be down below so you can read up more on that and follow the future developments there as well. And also, most importantly, that when you use Daedalus Flight, that is real mainnet ADA. Please do not make a mistake thinking it is testnet. It is definitely not testnet. All right, any questions in chat, let me know. I'm about to wrap up. I have chores to do. I do these live streams to avoid doing my honeydew list. Shh, don't tell my wife that. Uh, so I'm going to get back to the Sunday chores here. All right, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching Digital Fortress here. I'm punching out. Take care. Bye-bye.